Hi, welcome to Lulu's Way. I'm Lulu and I'm glad you're here. I am packing up, packing up to hit the road. Yay! So I'm getting my stuff together. I'm gonna hang my, uh, my jacket here. Get my jacket. This is the only jacket I'm taking. I'm not gonna take a, a winter jacket. I'll just layer up before I, before I find space for a big fat coat in this van. <laughs> so I got my jammies here. I have a light jacket and then I have, this is the heavier jacket. So that all fits right in there, just perfectly, perfectly. So I brought down my spices. The really, the only ones that I use Besides, here's my uh, my pink salt and my white pepper. Um, and I use, um, I have my daughter's Italian mix that she makes. So I got this. She sent me some in the mail, a big thing of it. Here's some smoked paprika. And here's that uh, cumin, fennel, coriander mix. I also use this for tea, but I've, I've found that I really enjoy it on food too. So that's my spice rack. That's all I need for spices. And uh, I have my um, my oils here. Now, let me tell you a story. So my son gives very thoughtful gifts, uh, not extravagant gifts, thoughtful gifts. And there's nothing like a thoughtful gift. For Christmas, he got me a, um, a gift certificate to my favorite thrift store. How cool is that? <laughs> <laughs> and then for my birthday, uh, which was two days later, he gave me this piece of fabric that he found. And he said, Mom, I, f I saw this fabric and uh, at the thrift store, and I thought of you. I thought of your van. And I just picked it up. And I was just like, I love it. So my little box that I keep my oils in, I had that covered up with a piece of uh, fabric from the uh, from the ceiling, the same. It kind of matched, and uh, it was kind of coming off. It, the glue wasn't keeping. <laughs> I used spray glue. Um, so I decided I was going to use that fabric to have a little touch of my son in here. Uh, not that I don't already, because I have a, a few things in here that are, were gifts from him that are very thoughtful. Um, I go, so I recovered the box with this fabric that he got me. And I'll show it to you. Look at this fabric. Isn't it lovely? It does. It works perfect in here. I was, so this holds my oils just perfectly. I also glued a, a dragonfly on the side of it. I did this. I put this all on with hot glue. Just hot glue on a cardboard box. That fits right in this spot right here. There you have it. And it has some alien tape on the bottom that will hold it. And I got my pens right here. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So let's see. I got, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna need that basket. So here's my, uh, what's left of my um, seaweed sheets and I have a few other few other packages of them in my in my pantry, but I like to keep this one handy right in here. Even though these don't need to be refrigerated, I like to have them with all my salad stuff, so I keep them there. So I brought my little my little uh, tongs from upstairs. Those in there, and my favorite knife that goes in there, and then in here I have my my plastic containers that I really like. Here's the two big ones, some little ones. I got all the covers in here. I got the cover to my pan and I have the two big lids and I have my uh, the the container that I make my supplement shake in. And that's the only dishes I take. That's the only dishes right there. I use them to store food. I use them to eat food out of. Um, to me, it's just, I don't need, well, I do have one plate down the bottom here. I have a plate whenever I have like rice cakes, 
have I have this plate right here. I put rice cakes with fruit. So I do have that one plate. And then also in here is I have my my food little bug screens that I made. So we'll see how those work out on this trip. There we go. And then the other dishes I have are right here. Cutting board, small bowl, can opener, and all my utensils, my, you know, spatula, fork, spoons, knives, kitchen scissors. Um, yeah. So I want to tell you another story. So on Christmas Eve, I went to my niece's house and her husband, he's the uh, sheet metal worker guy that made me those side panels for my roof. They go on my roof rack. I wanted these side panels to come down um, and kind of block um, the view of the of the solar panels and the max air fan on my roof. He did a spectacular job. He custom made them, attached them to my van, attached them right to my roof at, roof rack, and um, I love them. So he does he does a great job with sheet metal. So we had kind of this like. Um, uh, Yankee swap kind of a, a gift giving thing. And uh, it was a whole heck of a lot of fun. Um, and his, his gift was something that he made with his, with his craft of, of working with metal. Um, I got this gift and I love it. And I put it in my van. So I have it right here next to my Berkey. I found a spot for it right there. Check out what he made with a bunch of scrap copper. I don't even think you can see it. Oh yeah, you can. Look at that rose. It's a copper rose. Look at that work he did. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. <laughs> so I wanted to put this in my van somewhere. And what I found was this little uh, this little eye hook right here that holds the bungee. I just stuck it right in there and it just stands right up just like that. And that is my new addition. I love that. I love that so much because it's so interesting. So now I have to go upstairs and get some more things. I got to fill my cooler, get my ice packs, get my freezer going and uh, finish getting my clothes down here and a lot of other uh other uh, last minute things and I will BRB. Next is my supplement drawer. Got all my supplements ready to put right in here. All in the, the right order for me to keep myself organized. There we go. That's that. All right, so I got another bucket of things. Another bucket of things. Let's see what I got. I have my spray oil for uh, when for cooking. I like to keep that right in here. It stands right up next to my fire extinguisher in this little box that keeps it straight. Uh, I got this box right here for some of my supplements. Put those in there. Go. And then I have I have um, this is more supplements that I like to put right up in here. Oops, up right up in here. And then I need that that cup to go with it. Nope, I need this. I need this measuring spoon to go with it. That will go right there. Put that right in there. Let's see. Oh, dandy blend. That goes right up here next to the tea. Perfect. Let's see. I got a new toothbrush. Start with a new one. I like these bamboo, these bamboo toothbrushes. I love them. Oh, there's two in here. I don't need to take two. I think one for one for three months is enough. I'll take that back upstairs. I got my food scale. I need to have that. That goes right here. And I have all my, my 
charging stuff for my iPad and for my phone. That goes, I have it right in this, in this uh, cabinet here. I have a spot for all my wires right in there. So I have my, my toothpaste. I have my nail clippers. Now I have two pair of nail clippers. Which ones are the, which ones are the heavy duty? calendar. Got to have my calendar right here. It's my life. I got my tripod that I got to put uh, uh, behind the driver's seat. That's where I keep that. Um, got the rest of this bag of Dandy Blend that's a little bit left. I'm going to put this in my pantry underneath my bed. And I brought an extra scale with me just in case something happens to my scale. I'll find a spot for this under the bed too, just to put it away, just in case. All right. Time to go get my next batch of stuff. Okay, the next thing I got is my pillows. My queen pillows. So I got the nice, clean, uh, new pillowcases that I got, and I altered them because they were king size and I wanted queen. I just sewed them up. Perfect fit. Perfect fit. Another thing I take is icy, icy cold water. It will be the last icy cold water I see in a long time <laughs> because I drink from the Berkey and it's, um, it's, uh, room temperature. It's always room temperature. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's cold because it's cold in here, but most of the time it's not. It's like lukewarm or on a really warm day down in Florida. Like when it gets to be like March, uh, it could be warm. But I drink it anyway. It 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 uh, hydrates me, um, and I don't want ice. I don't want ice from a from an ice machine or from a McDonald's. I don't I don't want the ice. So there's my pillows right here. Just perfect. Yay! I'm gonna put this in my cup holder up in the front so I can enjoy this while I drive. So here I am with my buckets of food for the, f for the cooler. Here I go. So I'm gonna take this one right here, put this on the floor, take this one right here. So now I'm gonna take my cover off. Here I go. So I have my baby romaine. I have my arugula. I have some broccoli, carrots. I have some baby carrots. I have some blueberries, some shredded carrots, some, um, baby cucumbers, I have some hummus, some green onions, oh. now let's see what I have here is, uh, right here I have some, uh, probiotics for the future that need to be re keep cool. So those go down there in the bottom. And then I have my hemp seed oil that I use in my supplement shake. Every other day I use the hemp oil, so I need to keep that refrigerated. I have some of my delicious mustard for when I make cabbage. I have a mix of um, nuts and seeds. For breakfast. I have an avocado that's nice and ripe. 
all the ones that are not ripe are under the bed in that little container. I have this container that's filled with just little bits, bits of leftovers <laughs> that I'll, I'll put together my first, like I'll put together a lunch with that. Then I have, I bought some shrimp, some, uh, I bought a half a pound of um, wild caught um, shrimp. And I'm gonna treat myself and have that. I have some uh, Kalamata olives. I have, I had three eggs left in the fridge and I just put them in here on, sitting on tin foil so that they don't, uh, they don't rattle and break. I have a little bit of this coleslaw, coleslaw mix left. I gotta use that up before it goes bad. I have shredded carrots. This one's open and I have another one. Um, now this is some food prep I did. I made some, um, some grains. I cooked some grains last night. Rice, uh, basmati rice, wild rice, quinoa, and farro. I also cooked a whole pan of smoked paprika chicken. And I cooked some fresh green beans in my Instant Pot. So that's that. That's all the food for the cooler. So now I have to go get the ice packs. I'm gonna put six ice packs in here. I'm gonna put six in the freezer, turn the freezer on, get it cranking. All right, here we go. Let's see. I like to put one, I like to put one up here right next to the little basket that has all the little things in it. And then I like to just put them down into the sides like this. They all fit right down in here perfectly. I'll make sure that I have one right next to the chicken and right next to the fish. That's what I like to do. In here. going to keep everything icy cold and I'm so grateful that I can take so much food. That's what I need. I got to make sure I have what I need. Got to make sure. Absolutely. Now I got to go get the ice packs to put in the, the freezer and get that cranking. There they are. They're all ready to go. So I'm gonna close my cover, put on my little extra insulation. I just made this cover. I covered it with fabric and it just makes it look pretty instead of looking at the silver, but it keeps it just a little bit extra insulated, especially when it gets warm down in Florida. And I'm going to push that, slide it right under the bed. So I am all set. Everything's in my van. My food, my clothes, fridge is all set up. Got my Instant Pot. I got all my supplements. I have everything. Um, I'm just going to go all through my room right now and do one last idiot check. Make sure I didn't leave anything behind. And then I'm gonna hop in the driver's seat and away I go. And I'm gonna take you with me and uh, I'm looking forward to heading down to some nice weather, wonderful people, meetups. Uh, it's just, it's just uh, I'm just looking forward to all the plans that I have and all the plans that I don't have. I love both, I love it all. So I'm going to say bye for now.
again. So I drove uh, all through Massachusetts. I crossed into Rhode Island and I finished off Rhode Island and I am currently in Connecticut and I pulled over to enjoy my lunch. So I pulled over in Rhode Island and made my lunch a little bit earlier and now I'm going to eat it because I am so hungry. I am so hungry after a busy morning. So I have a big ass salad. I have avocado at the bottom with my nori sheets. I have uh, baby butter lettuces. I have shredded cabbage, shredded carrots, um, scallions, beets, cukes, um, cubed up white sweet potato. Oh, I love <clears throat> white Japanese sweet potato cooked and cold and cubed in a salad. It's just so good. It has a perfect texture, cold, and it's just so sweet and just so delicious. And I have some chicken that I baked with um, my daughter's herb mix. It's so good. So I'm making good timing. It's a very raw day. Very um, drizzly. Windshield wipers on low, but fluctuating, uh, you know, having to turn them up a little bit at times. A little gloomy <clears throat> and chilly, but I just put the heat on. I have my nice new sweater. I washed it and, I, you know, I almost didn't take it because <clears throat> you can't put this in the dryer. If I put this in the dryer, it will be tiny and I like it nice and loose. So I have to dry it flat and that is not practical for van life at all but I love it too much so I brought it <laughs> gotta take my supplements I'm so grateful. I take pills so easy. That was about 10 all at once. <laughs> one gulp. One gulp and they go right down. <clears throat> so. I think the next border I will cross is, um, I think, Pennsylvania. New York. Sorry, New York. New York is next. I know there's like New York, then there's New Jersey, I think a little bit of Pennsylvania. Um, there's Maryland and Delaware. And then into Virginia. And I was thinking last night, I was like, oh, maybe I'll make it to Virginia the first day. I ain't making it to Virginia. A little too far. You know, because the driving is a little bit slower than usual because it's it's drizzly. So people just slow down a little bit, which is good. Can I just tell you, this is a whole different experience with my electrical. I plugged in the, the, the fridge got the freezer going so that's going to be draining constantly i turn my lights on and off anytime i want i got my ipad charging my phone everything's charging and it's just staying on 100 <laughs> it's just staying on 100 because when i'm driving it's always just topping up and it's providing electricity to everything that i need um my last trip i would be bringing in from driving, I'd be bringing in about 
120 watts. So, like, the iPad takes, like, 40-ish. The fridge takes, like, 35. So, and then the then there's the phone. All the things, probably, all the, all the drawer on everything was probably around, around 120, maybe a little bit less, a little bit more. So I was always even, coming out even and not gaining anything. So I was always, I on, always ended up like right now. I'm stationary. The car's not running. There's no sun. It's a rainy day, so I'm not getting solar right now. So right now, what would be happening is everything is running, and it would just be draining it down. Then when I drove, then it would maintain that lower number, and then it would just keep happening all day until I was just down, down, down. <clears throat> now I have it's on 100 all the time. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh. Mm. I've been singing my lungs out all morning. My throat's a little sore from singing so much. <laughs> so I said bye to everybody in the house last night gave my big big hugs to everybody but before I left I had to wake my son up I needed one more hug from him <laughs> So he hopped right out of bed, gave me a big, big hug. And then um, he walked me out to the garage. We said our goodbyes. I'll see him in April. Very beginning of April. It's a little cold right now, but it's it's manageable. I'm warm in the sweater. My feet are a little cold. I could get my booties, but I'll be back on the road again soon enough. And the heat will be cranking, and I'll be just fine. So I'm going to finish my lunch. I'm going to hit the road. The next time I pull over will be uh, around 3 o'clock. They have my supplement shake at 3 o'clock. Or when I need gas. Every time I'm on a half a tank, I get gas. Half. Is empty. I was given that bit of advice on some YouTube video I watched once. And I was like, that is just gosh darn good advice because you just never know. And you start getting into real rural areas when the next gas station is. So um, half, half full equals empty. So I'm going to say bye for now. Bye for now. So I'm enjoying my travels today. The sun finally came out. It's been raining all day and the sun is finally out. So it's nice. I just pulled over and had my supplement shake. Feels really good. And what I decided to do was I'm gonna put my dinner together in this and put it in the Hut Logic. So I'll plug it into the Hut Logic while I'm driving and it will be ready for dinner. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna get those green beans that I cooked. 
Oh, here they are. Let's see. Let's see how much these weigh. I don't know if I need more veg or if this is it. Oh, that's plenty. So I'm going to have that. I'm going to have the smoked paprika chicken and I'm going to have the grains. And that's what I'm going to do. So I don't know how well you can see this, but you know. Okay, so I'm going to have 16 ounces of 16 ounces of green beans. Okay, there I have it. There's 16 ounces of green beans, except I'm going to fix them up nice. I'm going to lay them out nice. Because I have to fit some other stuff in here. So I'm going to push all these over to the side. Like that. I'm going to put my rice. I'm going to put my rice right there. That's you know, this is, this smells so good. Oh, it's just a good mix. Good mix of grains. It just smells very grainy. There we go. That's five ounces. I have five ounces of grain because I'm maintaining. And speaking of my weight, I weighed in this morning because I won't be home on the first and I won't be weighing in again until I get home in April because I just weigh the same scale, the same conditions is what is um, accurate information. Um, if I just stepped on another scale and I had clothes on, it wasn't first thing in the morning, it wasn't my, the same conditions that I weigh in, it wouldn't be valuable information to me. It would just be, if I went up some, I'd say, I wonder if it's the scale. If I went down some, I'd say, I'm not gonna make any food changes unless I know for sure. So uh, I hopped on it this morning and I was 134. And I was looking back at my history. Last month I was 133. The month before that I was 134. The month before that I was 133. So I'm just, to me it's like, I'm just staying the same. Um, I haven't gained a pound, I didn't lose a pound. It's just like, it's just the same. It's really the same. That's what I love about having a range, you know? I'm right in my range. My, my range is 131 to 135. That's my five pound range, and I've been in it for an awfully long time, and it feels really, really, really good. And you know, I just keep doing the same thing, you know? like. If it worked yesterday, it's probably gonna work today. Why do anything different? Why mess around with something that's just working? I don't have any cravings for anything else. I'm not longing to have anything else. I'm just, I'm good. So, that's 310, so I need to mow up. It is right there. And I'm going to cut this piece of chicken into bite sized pieces so that it's easier for me to eat when I'm eating later. I don't need a knife, I don't want a knife. I just need to put my oil on this. Look at that. You see, I got my rice in there. I got my green beans. 
I got my kick in and now my oil. I just need some salt and pepper right here. Uh-oh, I just put a lot of pepper. here. I don't need a whole one. I'll just use a half of one to just clean the um, my little scissors here. I love kitchen shears. I just love having kitchen shears. Hop up here and put my chicken right there and my green beans right there, my rice right here. Okay, I'm going to put this up front. I'm going to get it set up in the hot logic. And then I'll plug it in about about an hour before I'm gonna have uh, about an hour before I'm gonna have my dinner, and it'll be nice and toasty warm for me. It'll be wonderful. And I'm gonna get my dinner supplements ready. At dinner, I have a one of these and one of these and one of these. too and I'm good to go and I love my lights and I love my electricity it's it's on 99 I mean it's just it's just good it's so good it was such a pain in the butt the last trip I was on I mean I made it work and it was just it was you know first world problems you know uh uh, but this is just a gift. This this feels like a gift. A big treat. I'm so excited. So I'm going to go hit the road. I am still in Connecticut. I'm very, very close to New York. I'd like to get through New York and get into uh, Pennsylvania. Probably hunker down in Pennsylvania. But maybe I'll check in later. Bye for now. It's finally the evening. And my dinner is all nice and warm from the Hot Logic. You know, I like this Hot Logic. It's logical. I'm in New Jersey. I only drove about 250 miles today. I mean, I know that's a lot, but it's really not a lot for somebody who was driving all day. And the reason that it's not a lot is because there were lots of pockets of slow traffic. Slow moving traffic, lots of pockets of it, you yeah. <clears throat> know, holiday, people on, it's, it's a holiday week, you know. Um, if I wanted to avoid um, traffic, I would have left after the first, but I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, I just... When you get in traffic, you just go slower. I mean, I'm just, I'm driving whether I'm going fast or slow. And I don't have to be anywhere at a certain time. So I'm good. I'm good. Mm. Oh, this is good. 
these green beans done in the Instant Pot. Mm. They're so good with the oil drip drizzled all over them, the salt and pepper. I tell ya, serves me well. My GPS took me right through New York City. I don't know why. It took me off in 95, maybe because 95 was worse, but it took me all around. I ended up, it was like, they were like, take a, the GPS says, take a left on Broadway. I'm like, Broadway in New York? Is that where I am? <laughs> and then I, I, um, I hit the thing on my phone and it said, it said Manhattan. I was like, I'm in Manhattan. And, uh, and so, uh, yeah, I had to put on my uh, Boston driver cap. I had to pull that one out from the past. <laughs> I know how to drive in big cities. I have a lot of experience. I spent years working in Boston and Boston's, I mean, New York, New York is bad, but Boston's pretty rough. <laughs> I got really good at it though. You just have to, you just have to, it's an art. You have to, it's, it take, it's an art. <laughs> I mean, it's very well through Manhattan. Boom. Got it. Then I ended up back on 95 and now I'm at a rest stop. I'm at a service plaza right off in 95 in New Jersey. And I feel safe. I am it's not really that cold. Um, well, it's only 620 and uh, it says, it's telling me that it's 49 degrees. It looks like the low is going to be 40. At 7 a.m. it will be 40. So this is nothing. Tonight's an easy breezy night. So um, I'm gonna go finish my dinner and I'm gonna call it a night. I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for hanging with me on my first day on the road. I'm just grateful that here I am in New Jersey, safe. The van is safe and I'm safe. And I'm just, I'm grateful for that. Very grateful. Bye for now.